Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, it's Eric Coffin, HR Advisories. I'm here at the September 2019 edition of the Metal Investors Forum. Uh, I'm here with the CEO of one of the companies I invited, West Haven Ventures. Gareth Thomas uh, just came and gave us a great update. Um, and in that update, um, I think probably the first time we all heard it, one concern that a lot of people had, I wasn't one of those people, but a lot of people had concerns about uh, when late last year, early this year, you were drilling to the south on your south zone where you pulled these fantastic drill holes, this new epithermal discovery, and the, the most southerly couple of holes, you hit this fault zone. And I know a lot of people have been worried about, like, is that it? That's the end of it? Does it go any farther? You can now report, I think, that you have, in fact, found the vein on the other side of that. Yeah, I mean, we assay is pending, of yeah. course, but uh, we're, we're confident from what we see in the core. It's the pictures that we're... We've, uh, so we drilled 100 meters southeast of uh, SN1819 where we, we hit anomalous gold, but nothing in comparison to 15 and 14, which is a long trend from there. So we were um, a little bit disappointed with that hole and obviously so was the market, but, but now from 22, which we just drilled, uh, as mentioned, no assays, but we can see some uh, nice looking quartz breccia with, with banded uh, agillaria and gingaroo, which is a good sign for gold mineralization. Uh, down a, a bit deeper as well, so we're looking, gives us a chance to probably uppercut that and maybe hit it at a more favorable horizon. But yeah, it's it's a big uh, vote of confidence for us and the, the crew up there that we, hopefully the sink continues uh, a lot further to the south. And the other thing too, in, the, in your last news, this last set of journals that you put out, um, you're in the midst of this big 20,000 meter program. You, you actually reported high grade gold from not a second, but a third vein zone. You now have three parallel vein zones in the in the south zone. Yeah, and that that's the thing is we, you know, many people want to see us continue this thing on strike, but as we're drilling up to the north now, we continue to go, we continue to see gold parallel moving uh, on the periphery. So now we're staying our third vein zone. We reported uh, last month a uh, whole 10, which we had 52 meters of just over five grams, uh, 18 and a half meters of 11.39 grams in the second vein zone, which is great. A yeah. uh, whole opens up a whole new ball game there. Then we've just hit the third zone as of our last news release where we hit uh, seven, just over seven uh, meters of almost 10 grams in the third vein zone. So it's uh, how many more of these continue on that way. And that's what we want to figure out. We hope these is going to be multiple veins or clusters, if you will, or, or swarms, however you want to call it. But that's our belief is that there's going to be more south zones on this property or, or more, more veins in the south zone, but right. more south zones on the property. And you think during this program, you're, you may get a shot at maybe some of these. I mean, all the work so far has been in the south zone in terms of drilling, and rightly so, given the kind of holes you're hitting. But I know you've had a, a bunch of people sort of going back and forth over the whole large property that is shovel nose. You think you might take a shot at one or two outside targets during this program? Well, it, it, that's an excellent uh, question and an excellent point, which one of the, the audience members asked the question there. Um, obviously, most of this property, we're probably covered, maybe now tested about 10% of it. Uh, still very wide, even in the drilling, but uh, a lot of the property remains underexplored. But this year, we've had about a dozen or so field members doing soil sampling, prospecting. We've done a, a mag geo. Uh, a mag, um, uh, grounds, ground mag server, thank you very mm -hmm. much, uh, to coincide with the airborne we did last year. So we're using as many tools now to delineate targets. And that, to answer your question, yes, we're going to be testing some of these, uh, some of these outlying uh, targets with the drill. And if you don't know West Haven, the company, and you should, but if you don't, uh, one thing I want to dispel and make sure people appreciate, when you look at it on a map, if you know British Columbia, you're going to look at where West Haven is on a map, and you're going to go, oh, crap, they're in the mountains. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, you've got excellent access, and this is pretty close to being a year-round project, really, in terms of shovel nose, in terms of being able to drill it. It, it has. It has become a, a year-round uh, operation now where we're, we, every, we worked every year but January last year, and that's just because of conference season being January, busy time for... Um, yeah, but we're, we're able to work there all year round. We're right off the Coquihalla Highway, 30 minutes from Merritt, two and a half hour drive from Vancouver. So it leads to, uh, and you're, you're uh, quite a ways from that, that rain shadow effect, if you will. So we're right. not getting that big dump of snow as you get maybe around the, the bear shed or the toll booth. Right. We're, we're a little bit ways uh, in, inland from that. So it, it, it adds to snow we can handle quite easily with, with just plowing or drillers plow, in fact. So it's, right. uh, it's a nice, nice place to be, a uh, good infrastructure. 
Okay, so they're the <laughs> West Haven WHN on the venture. They're in the midst of a 20,000 meter program that I personally strongly suspect is going to get larger mm -hmm. with two drill rigs, and I strongly suspect that counts going to get larger too. Uh, we'll see what happens in the next little while. Tons of news to come. Great project, fantastic high grade holes, great, great group of guys making a brand new discovery, which is the kind of stock I love. You guys got to take a look at this. West Haven Ventures on the venture. That's it for today. Thanks.